Hello, New Life family. I uh, just wanted to take a moment to uh, share something with you that I read in the scripture while I was just taking a little bit of time to pray and to meditate and seek the Lord and uh, just kind of came to the church to just uh, just kind of get alone, just a little bit of alone time with the Lord. And one of the things I read the scripture out of the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 2 and verse 2, where the scripture says, And there came a sound from heaven. We're living in a time, living in, in a society where there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise in the world. There's a lot of noise in the, in the church world. There's a lot of noise uh, everywhere, all around us. A lot of noise in, in uh, the workplace, a lot of noise in politics, a lot of noise in the home. And sometimes it's so noisy that we have a hard time really hearing where it is that God is directing us and taking us. And if there's anything that we need to do, we need to bend ourselves to the place or, or ask the Lord to bend us. I, was recently reminded of the prayer of um, Evan Roberts, the great uh, Welsh revivalist, that he would he would pray and he would say, "Bend me, Lord, bend me." So many of us need to be bent. All of us, and I shouldn't just say so many of us. I should say all of us need to be bent. And what I mean by that is is we need to be taken to a place, allow God to take us to a place that his Holy Spirit is able to um, get, that we yield, let me put it that way, that we yield to his Holy Spirit like never before so that we're able to hear the sound of heaven to hear what heaven is saying, to hear what heaven is declaring, what heaven is speaking to us. Because I can promise that uh, no matter what is going on in the world, no matter what is going on in society, no matter what is happening around us, when we get the sound of heaven and that sound begins to fill the place where uh, we are. It will begin to move in such a dynamic way that it's not just you that hears it. It's not just myself that hears it. But as the book of Acts said, that all of a sudden it, it became a situation where the people heard them coming out of the upper room and and all of a sudden people began to take notice and some some were amazed and some were uh, in awe and some were uh, doubtful, some mocked and so many different reactions to it, uh, so many different reactions to the sound of heaven. But but as you work your way through the book of Acts, you begin to find out that that sound of heaven brought so many different things. It brought power. It brought healing. Uh, it brought unity. Uh, it, it made those who, were, um, those who were of the covenant, which was the Jews at that time, and those who were Gentiles, those who were far off, made them all one through the blood of Jesus Christ. And it was the sound of heaven that brought all of that together. 
And if we need anything in the church, we need the sound of heaven. If we need anything in our personal life, we need the sound of heaven. If, we, if there's anything that we need, we need to, to muffle the noise and, and close out the noise. And we need to begin to hear heaven. Heaven isn't going to sound like we think it does. It's not going to sound like we think it should. The sound of heaven isn't, isn't our, doesn't stand in the words of men's wisdom. It stands in the power of God. It, it doesn't stand in our reasoning. It stands in his glory. It stands in his power. And we've lost that dynamic. Uh, and, it, and, and the only way, the thing about the sound of heaven, and I'll leave you with this. The thing about the sound of heaven, if you really want to know what it sounds like, it sounds like waiting. Because the scripture says that Jesus told his disciples, or I'll use an old King James word that I like, tarrying. The sound of heaven is tarrying. The sound of heaven is, is getting in a place and tarrying until the heavens are open and until his glory rests upon us and moves upon us. Let us take Jesus's words to heart and let us go and let us tarry until we be endued with power. That's the only thing that is going to absolutely, uh, unequivocally answer the needs of society and answer the needs of our culture and answer the questions that, uh, that people are looking to have answered. I pray that uh, the Holy Spirit will just rest upon you in wisdom and revelation and understanding and in knowledge of our precious Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I love you. I'm praying for you. I am looking forward to this Sunday. I believe that the Holy Spirit has got something fantastic for us. I will see you later. God bless you. Bye-bye.